welcome to this introduction to Netgear Wireless Technologies. Throughout this series, we're going to be introducing you to the myriad of features and functions of wireless technology and show you how we're keeping up with the constantly growing demands of businesses and consumers across the globe. This course will help you identify the best options when specifying Netgear Wireless Technologies and give you confidence when explaining their functions. Let's begin by explaining how a mesh network works. A wireless access point is a piece of network equipment that enables you to connect devices with Wi-Fi to your wired network. It's a device that creates a wireless local area network, usually in an office, a store, a restaurant or any large building. In a typical installation, an access point connects to the network that being a wired router or a switch, via an Ethernet cable, and then sends a Wi-Fi signal to a designated area. In a typical installation, each wireless access point is connected directly to a network switch. Now, in a wireless mesh network, the network connection is spread out among multiple wireless mesh nodes, and they are talking to each other to share the network connection wirelessly across a larger area. In a wireless mesh network, only one node needs to be physically wired to a network connection, like an internet modem. And that one wired node then shares its internet connectivity wireless with all the other nodes in its vicinity. Mesh networks offer a range of benefits over a standard network topology. They provide seamless roaming, allowing people to move around a building without losing connection or having to attach to a different SSID or network name based on location. Wire-free installation allows satellites to be placed in locations which require coverage but cannot easily be cabled, and this makes a wireless mesh network flexible and expandable. Remote management is provided using the powerful Netgear Insight product and you can learn more about that by clicking this link. Don't forget to head over to the resources section to discover more about our range of mesh devices. The Internet of Things, or IoT, continues to spread throughout our personal and business lives, driving up the need to connect more devices. At the same time, demanding applications such as video streaming and conferencing means that more bandwidth is needed. Now, since the first wireless standard was adopted back in 1999, we've seen huge improvements in Wi-Fi technology to meet the now essential demands of us all across the globe. Wi-Fi 4 and 5 have been utilised by Netgear since 2009, and in 2019, we introduced Wi-Fi 6. More than being just faster than its Wi-Fi predecessors, Wi-Fi 6 deals with capacity and performance challenges head-on, overcoming previous limitations around density, coverage, and the volume of devices which can be supported. It even helps save on battery life for many devices using Wi-Fi. It has been compared to leaving a congested narrow road and joining a multi-lane superhighway. Wi-Fi 6 is one of those things that until you have it, you may not know how much it was needed. Wi-Fi 6 is an industry-wide standard brought to the market by the Wi-Fi Alliance. Based on what is known in the network industry as the 802.11ax protocol, Wi-Fi 6 is a step change forward compared to the current 802.11ac protocol, renamed Wi-Fi 5. While previous standards like Wi-Fi 5 added speed gains, they did not deal with the efficiency, whereas Wi-Fi 6 does. It also operates on both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band, with the 6 GHz band set to follow soon. Wi-Fi 6 offers some other major improvements as well. The calculated performance improvement is 40% in the 5 GHz band compared to Wi-Fi 5, plus up to 70% in the 2.4 GHz band. Real-life Wi-Fi speeds depend on various other factors, of course, and while these theoretical improvements may not be achieved everywhere in practice, Wi-Fi 6 will improve an instant speed advantage. 
As with all kinds of devices that become more sophisticated and bandwidth hungry, that extra 30% to 70% increase will be really valuable. What really matters, however, is how Wi-Fi 6 shares wireless bandwidth with multiple devices at the same time. Wi-Fi 6 works by increasing the potential speed for each device, so they all benefit. As Wi-Fi 6 networks can simultaneously broadcast to so many more devices or endpoints compared to previous Wi-Fi standards, when demand increases, connectivity still remains strong. A current Wi-Fi access point works by sending traffic to each device at a time. And although most of the time that is not obvious nor makes a big difference, as the number of devices grow, the ones at the end of the queue often suffer. Wi-Fi 6 uses a feature called BSS colouring. This pre-negotiates the channels that wireless networks will use based on the location and signal strength of adjacent access points or mesh systems. And this minimises interference, lowers congestion and maximises channel efficiency. Depending on the base station signal, Wi-Fi 6 can choose what to transmit or defer. And this makes a significant difference to the overall performance. As Wi-Fi 6 access points and mesh systems each have 50% more coverage, meaning few of them should be needed compared to what businesses currently have installed, less is more, making Wi-Fi 6 a smart investment. Wi-Fi 6 also improves on battery life in the way it communicates with other devices, ensuring that they are only active when they need to be, rather than always being on and being alert for a wireless transmission. This helps save on battery life for sensor-based IoT products and systems which are not all being used all of the time, such as door entry, printers, smart building solutions and even Wi-Fi 6 enabled smartphones. As we rely on more and more wireless technology, it's vital our data remains as safe as possible. And the Wi-Fi Alliance has made WPA3 mandatory for certified Wi-Fi 6 compatible products and this makes it even harder to crack passwords and obtain data. Let's take a look at some examples of how the implementation of Wi-Fi 6 plays into multiple vertical markets perfectly. Hotels, inns and other hospitality are increasingly becoming more technological in their accommodations. Upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 will provide a faster, secure and reliable Wi-Fi connection. Schools and other educational institutions are slowly moving towards newer instruction technologies. These newer instruction technologies require a huge demand in bandwidth and wireless capacity, which older and legacy technologies, Wi-Fi technologies that is, can't support. Upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 would meet the demands of these newer technologies as well as future-proofing the schools and institutions. Entertainment and food industries are also new technology hotspots, with high-quality video and audio streaming and an excess of consumer products. Wi-Fi speeds and capacity will become an infrastructure requirement. Upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 will provide relief for the speed and capacity issues. As healthcare becomes more digital, virtual doctor carts, virtual doctor visits and digital charting, the requirement for faster and more efficient wireless connectivity becomes a new infrastructure demand. And an upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 will not only meet these new digital requirements, but also again future-proof the healthcare network for faster and newer medical technologies. Finally, we should dig a little deeper into the differences between dual band and tri band. Now, they both refer to the Wi Fi frequency bands used to transmit data 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Wireless range decreases with higher frequencies because higher frequencies can't penetrate solid objects, such as walls and floors. However, Higher frequencies allow data to be transmitted faster than lower frequencies. So, the higher 5 GHz band will upload and download files faster than the 2.4 GHz band. 
Wi-Fi connections on a particular frequency band can also be affected by interference from other devices. For example, many Wi-Fi enabled technologies and other household devices use the 2.4 GHz band. And these include microwaves, garage door openers, for example. And when multiple devices attempt to use the same radio space, well, that's when overcrowding occurs. Now, connecting to the 5 GHz band often results in better performance due to less overcrowding. However, in today's technology, it's rare to find wireless devices which are only compatible with 2.4 GHz. A standard dual band wireless network provides one 2.4 GHz band and one 5 GHz band for hosts to connect to. However, in order to meet the connectivity and performance demands of today's tech, Netgear have introduced Tri-Band. This is Wi-Fi, which is able to deliver higher throughput by combining Wi-Fi speeds through not two, but three dedicated Wi-Fi bands. A single 2.4 GHz band plus two 5 GHz band. This additional 5 GHz Wi-Fi band effectively doubles the Wi-Fi bandwidth for dual band devices. Netgear's Smart Connect feature intelligently selects the best Wi-Fi band for each dual band device to optimize the connection speed and performance. This is based on the device's own speed and performance. The Orbi Pro router in this example then automati automatically manages each Wi-Fi connection, performing load balancing across the two 5 GHz radios. This additional Wi-Fi bandwidth, combined with the intelligence to segregate traffic based on Wi-Fi speed and load balancing, provides the best performance for multiple Wi-Fi devices in the home. Netgear is helping businesses across the world make the most of new wireless technologies with a range of Wi-Fi 6 devices already launched to market and more products being added all the time. We're dedicated to giving small to medium businesses network products which combine high performance, affordability and ease of use. Why not take a look at our remote cloud management course here on Academy to learn more about Insight our cloud-based network management portal, which makes the setting up and maintenance of every network dead simple. Don't forget to take the short quiz to test your knowledge of this course, and please don't forget to leave us your feedback, and we'll see you very soon.